I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. Even though I realize that this is in some measure an act of faith and vision, for we do not now know what benefits await us. But why some say the moon? Why choose this as our goal? And they may well ask, why climb the highest mountain? We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. And therefore, as we set sail, we ask God's blessing on the most hazardous and dangerous and greatest adventure on which man has ever embarked. Thank you. Welcome, New Life. I want to give a big shout out to all of you at all of our campuses. Welcome to New Life Church. This is Vision Weekend. I'm so excited about Vision Weekend, and here's why I love it. I really do. I love Vision Weekend because it's a celebration where we've been as a faith community, where we've been in the past. It's also an exciting time of sharing where we sense the Holy Spirit is leading us into the future. As you know, just a few short weeks ago, we had our 30th year anniversary at New Life. It, wow, it was amazing. And, and I just want to spend a moment as we begin looking where we have been in the last 30 years. You won't believe this. Look at this. Back in 88, we are, were averaging 45 people in attendance. And then now in 2018, we're averaging right at 3,400. That's really crazy, right? Back in 88, uh, we, we had a yearly giving of about mm, 72,000. And now in 2018, we've had right at $4.6 million come into this ministry. Is that a big yay, God? In fact, I want us to pause at all of our campuses and just celebrate right now. Let's applaud God and thank Him for what He's done over these last three years. Come on, join with me. Let's do that right now. Let's do it. Yay, God. Lord, we're thankful for what you've done these last 30 years. At our 30th year anniversary, it was amazing. It really was. Uh, our president, Glenn Burris, was with us, and, and uh, Bill Cheney from New Life Church sent out. He's a supervisor and pastor of Wendy and Alaska and her family. Uh, supervisors were there from our Four Square family. Lots of pastors from our New Life Church who have been sent out came back, and then all of you New Lifers. It was amazing. As we celebrated, we worshiped together. The music was off the hook. We heard great speakers that had just great stories about the last three decades at New Life Church. And then we experienced these, these videos. And uh, we had this one video called, uh, they, tried, they called it the Make James Cry video. And it was just before I came up. And sure enough, man, so many tears of, of, of happiness and gratitude and joy and a lot of laughter. What an event. It was pretty amazing. Our past has been beautiful and impacting. But what does the future hold for our New Life family? At all of our campuses and our future campuses and congregations that Jesus will add, what is God going to do? Let's go back to that image of JFK. When he stood up there in 1961 and he said, by the end of the decade, we'll put a man on the moon and bring them home safe. Although he did not live to see it, he set it in motion. And over the next few years, after his dream was shared, a dream team made it happen. And they laid the foundation for that rocket literally to go to the moon. Now, just like the foundation was laid to launch that rocket to the moon, so for the last three decades, all of us have laid the strong foundation for the next gen to be launched into the future dreams. God is for all of us to keep our mission going far into the decades in front of us. So let me make this clear. Because a lot of people are asking, what about James and Lydia? Well, listen, Lydia and I have loved our journey here as lead pastors for these 30 years, and we aren't going anywhere. Somebody just the other day said, James, I heard you retired. No, I'm, are you kidding? I'm just getting started. But, but we're going to continue to be the lead pastors who are partnered with our campus pastors to shepherd and lead our New Life family into the future. But what has changed is Lydia and my assignment here at New Life Church. We still sing and preach and, and, and teach and, and lead most weekends, but how we do it has changed. Why? 
Because just like King David, the great leader of Israel, set up his son Solomon to take the kingdom into the future. By partnering him while he was still there, so Lydia and I feel like everything we've done for 30 years is now to launch a new generation of pastors and leaders to take it into the future, farther than Lydia and I ever could. And we're just standing right beside them, working with them, coaching and training and inspiring and leading our global New Life family. So listen, New Life family, it's vital to pass on this mission and vision of New Life Church to the next gen. We must invest in the younger generation coming up behind us, right? So let's go back for a second to this imagery of going to the moon. How old was JFK when he said, we're going to put a man on the moon? He was 44 years old. How old was the engineers who developed the Apollo project? Most of the engineers were between the ages of 23 and 26. Why so young? Because they think outside of the box. How old was Neil Armstrong, the commander of Apollo 11, who put man on the moon? He was 38 years old, right at the age of my oldest son, Jim. Here's what I'm saying. Our future is great at New Life because this weekend, we are officially launching the next gen into the future. So that everything we've done for 30 years will be an investment in our future so that we will ensure that our mission will continue for decades to come. Our mission of getting people to what? To know God, be restored, uncover purpose, and live sent. Our mission of restoring broken lives. See, for 30 years, we've, we've worked hard at bringing healing to broken hearts, broken families, broken people, broken lives. That's what we've been about. But that is what we're going to be about as we move into our future. Jesus, the healer. We're going to continue to reach the last, the lost, the least. We do it for the one. We do it for the one. The one who is the lost, the last, the least. I want you to see something right now. Scott Garcia, our media lead here at New Life Church, and his family built this rocket ship out of the Legos. I mean, that is awesome, isn't it? It's a beautiful, beautiful, exact replica of the rocket. In fact, I want you to see, this is the size of this part that they actually went down the moon on. And this is to scale the size of the dudes, the astronauts. I want you to think through this. All the money, all the time, the effort, the energy, billions of dollars, whatever it took to create this, to make this, all for the sake of three guys. All these people put all this energy to get these three guys up to the moon. They did it for the one. Everything we do at New Life Church, we do for the one. The one who is the last, the lost, the least. As we launch into this next big season in front of us, doing the mission for the one. We are going to do it together, New Life. You and me and our awesome campus pastors, and we're gonna do it all for the glory of God and His Son, Jesus Christ. Today, we launch. Today is Vision Week. Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff! We have a liftoff! What a message from our lead pastor. Because vision is so important, not only to our church whole, but to our campuses specifically, we have added all of the Vision Weekend talks from each campus below. Just click on the link that has your campus name and get ready to hear what the future holds at the place that you call home.